It's time to place your bets. Let's step into the huddle. Five, eighty-five, ready. You're listening to the Pre-Snap Podcast Weekly Wagering Show, brought to you by LineStar App, the top-rated DFS tool set and number one companion for DraftKings, FanDuel, and Yahoo Daily Fantasy. Go LineStar Premium now at LineStarApp.com. Now, here are your hosts, Joe Pizzapia and Scott Bogman. Hey, yo, what's up, everybody? It's me, Joey P, Joe Pizzapia, and welcome to the Pre-Snap right here on the line star app it is me it is scott bogman and it's you and it's time to pick some games that's right it's the pick show it's the wagering show it's all of the above coming to you courtesy of the line star app the greatest dfs tool site in the history of the universe so go out there and get it upgrade to that premium product right now and start winning some money and i'm telling you right now we've got a, a fun slate here and uh look the first i would say four weeks were pretty darn good around these parts and uh week five was a little humbling for us <laughs> it was humbling for the chiefs it was humbling for um a few teams actually humbling the Niners. For the yeah. Niners. um it was humbling for the bills <laughs> you know let's not forget them it was humbling once again for the jets well i mean jeez <laughs> i mean for jet fans guys i'm sorry guys like you know i think every jet season ticket holder should get an edible arrangement or something like <laughs> i thought you every- just were gonna stay an edible so, <laughs> well, that's so like, forget about this year. Oh, dude, is that a business? If, <laughs> if not, you and I need to go into there's your business <laughs> and all arrangements, but, but it's a edible kind of edible. arrangements, yeah, milligram arrangements. Oh so. man, I could definitely go for one of those. Boy, after this past <laughs> week, <too. laughs> but here we are. We're going to be picking the games here and going through. And uh, as Bogman and I always like to do, we're always going to you know keep it real here on the program. Like we said, the last four weeks, or the first four weeks, I should say, very good. Last week we were still good. We were still eight and three straight up, but against the spread, not as good. Boggs was six and five. I was just four and seven. Not good. And my over under streak finally came to an end. But like I said, it was a weird week. And we kind of talked about this on the recap show. When you have massive upsets, and I mean massive, nobody thought the Raiders. I mean, the Raiders were two touchdown underdogs. Same yeah. thing with Miami. Uh Buffalo was favorite. I mean, when you have big time favorites in games not only not cover but lose right like just lose it's crazy there you know it's one thing when the underdogs cover it's another thing when they win outright like that and that just you know screwed a lot of boards and we were not the only ones but look it doesn't matter that was last week it's a new week yes it is so let's get after it and i already know you've started so why don't you kick things off you already see in the sheet you've already begun picking so uh let's start with the minnesota vikings and the quinless atlanta falcons the Vikings are four and a half point uh, favorites in this one at home, as I think they should be. The number is 54 and a half. Bogman, take it away. Yeah, I mean, look, it, with a coaching change and all that stuff, I know I picked Houston a couple weeks ago, but they were playing Jacksonville. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to take Atlanta. I can't. I can't do it to my soul to take the, the Falcons. Yeah. And I do like that you said quinless when they are winless so Ooh, you um, know i don't even think to do that but look look at me look yeah, at me yeah that was very that was very uh, uh shifty there i like that so i'm gonna take uh the vikings minus the points i they're at home the home doesn't really matter this year especially for uh, uh well especially minnesota. for minnesota without the noise in that building nobody yeah. cares the minnesota, yeah, exactly that building you know people talk about seattle being loud I don't know if people realize how loud Minnesota was. That that's a really loud building, and without that, it is not the same defense. It's I've never not- been there. I, I was I was there um, like when they first started building it. So, and a lot of uh, I was in downtown uh, Minneapolis, and a lot of uh, are you struggling with cocaine billboards down there? So I guess uh, I guess the powder is a problem. You know, not just the snow. Well, who I, isn't? You know, and, that, and, that, and you know what they could use. An edible arrangement. <laughs> you exactly. know, somebody's listening to this and they're already like trying to find a dot com for it, you jerks. Don't you dare. <laughs> Don't you dare. You better just right before, before before we release go the before show, it's released. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, better yeah. you better get on GoDaddy or something and go lock that down. Ediblearrangements.com. Wink wink. Nudge nudge. Uh, um, but yeah, I'm gonna take Min- uh, Minnesota in this game. I think they win this one, kind of going away. I don't. I really don't like Atlanta. They're kind of reeling. Matt Ryan's been playing terribly. I mean, he had a wide open guy in the end zone through a pick in the end zone last week. That was terrible. I-, I will still take the over because both these defenses are still pretty rough. I mean, we know Atlanta's real bad, 
And Minnesota is starting two rookies at corner. Uh, I don't like that at all. So give me the over in this one and give me the Vikings. Uh, I'm going to go the same here. We're in lockstep. Minnesota, Minnesota in the over for me as well. If this was in Atlanta, I might think Atlanta can cover. But no, no, can't do it. Won't do it. Not going to do it. Wouldn't be prudent. (laughs) So let's not do that. Let's go to Baltimore, Philadelphia. Baltimore, seven and a half point favorites in this one. It's a pretty big number there, especially for on the road. But uh, it is the Eagles, and the Eagles have earned that. Uh, this number is 48-2, which is fascinating to me. Uh, I like Baltimore to win this game straight up. I think they are going to win this game handily, too. Um, this Where I struggle is what the Eagles' offense is going to show up here and do. I actually think this you know, this number is a number I would stay away from, so just putting this out there for everybody. I'll take Baltimore. I'll take Baltimore, but I would not want to go ahead here and – take the over under in this game i think it's right on the button but if i'm gonna lean somewhere i'm gonna lean the over just because that's that's been the nature of the beast so far so and baltimore you know could really use one of these big offense games and and maybe the eagles will push them a little bit more to have that we'll see but i also think baltimore is capable of scoring on defense in this game i think that will be the difference maker of the over if i had to choose how about you yeah i think uh i think i'm going with Baltimore, but I'm with you. I'm I'm more confident in Baltimore over Philly than I am in the over under hitting in this game. Uh, but uh, like you said, we lean over this year because everything's been going over. So uh, I'm definitely doing that too. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Uh, by the way, if you want to look for an upset, the Eagles on the money line plus two sixty five on Fanduel. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, they are at home. You know, I mean, Baltimore. If Robert Griffin was quarterbacking the Ravens, who would you take? Because <laughs> I would still take the Ravens. Hey, well, look, imagine the money you made if you took the, the Vegas Raiders last week. I don't even know. It was probably three or four, right? Yeah, <laughs> like, probably. Probably nuts. Oh, goodness. All right, Carolina at home against the Chicago Bears. I mean, who, who would have thought these two teams would be looking at and say, look at the record of these two teams. My goodness, what a, what three and two football teams. What great football teams these are, right? Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, so Carolina is uh one and a half point favorites at home. The number's 45. Boggs, you're up. What are your thoughts on this one? By the way, how dare you disrespect the four and one? Oh, Chicago four, Bears. excuse me, four and one Chicago Bears and the three and two Cardinals. My apologies. I know, uh, and I said it, it felt wrong, but yet at the same time, it felt right because it feels like I, I still can't get over the fact they won that game in Detroit because that was such a nonsense game. But anyway. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to go Chicago in this game. I, I, I just like what they've been doing. I, I know they're on, they're on the road. Carolina has been playing very uh, impressively over the last three weeks as well. Matt rule has got those guys uh, playing great, but uh, they've had a couple injuries on defense. They're fairly banged up. So that's why I like Dave Montgomery in this game. So give me Chicago, give me the over. I do like Carolina to, uh, you know, put maybe with some garbage time to push this game to over, but, Give me Chicago straight up and against the spread. I'm going to take Chicago also. This is interesting that you actually like Chicago because this was going to be one of my uh, my upsets of the week. So I'm going to go Chicago for the win. And obviously, you know, they're going to cover if they're going to win. And uh, I'm going to take the under, though, in this one. I think this is a little bit of a slog. It feels like this. Is, I think there's going to be some after a couple of weeks of Carolina flying high. I feel like they come back down to earth a little bit. I feel like this is like a, <laughs> like a hangover after you play the Falcons. <laughs> you know, you feel so good about yourself, and then you come back down to earth. And I think Chicago is going to bring them down to earth. So I don't like many unders, but I think this one is one that I will take. Uh, Cincinnati at Indianapolis. Indianapolis at home is eight point favorites in this one. Forty six and a half is the over under. Uh, look, I'm going to keep this simple. I think Indianapolis will win this game, uh, but I don't know, man. My lack of faith in this offense is really tough. And I think Burrow will come back after a bad game last week and respond a little bit. I know Indy's defense is great. I understand that. But I also understand that there's a lot of ineptitude on the Indianapolis offense. So I am going to go with Cincinnati to cover. I just think this is too big of a number here for me personally. I think Burrow bounces back. 46 and a half is the number. I'm going to go over in this one because if I do think that they can hang with them then I think this is going to push that total a little bit not going to be a lot over but I think just barely it goes yeah I'm going to go with the Colts in this one uh straight up and against the spread I'm going to go the opposite I'm going to take the under in this game I feel like this plays a little bit like uh you know when Lamar was banged up last week and what the Ravens did to uh, the Bengals. I think we're going to see a lot of similarities between that game and this game. And, uh, you know, the Colts hit the quarterback and Burrow has been 
uh, you know, he he's Burrow's looking at that bye week in week nine, going, just get here fast, please. I need a break. How many ice baths can you take? You know what I mean? So uh, give me the Colts in this one and give me the under. Yeah. I mean, look, it, it's, it's going to be a close one. I think that's for sure. Uh, I just, it's, you know, I, I don't, I, I don't think this whole, I don't know. Eight seems like a lot to me. You, I, I, I don't. Yeah. Cincinnati's really, you, real bad, dude. Burrow's good. Uh, good. And, and they have a nice future, but they have nothing on defense. And I know the Colts don't have much on. I was going to say, right but now. the Colts don't have anything on offense. So that's the yeah, thing. Yeah, like, but I, you don't have I'll to when, on Burrow. when everyone's going three and out, and you can hold the ball for forty-five minutes. So I, know, I think Joey I think B surprises can. you in this one. I think he surprises you. All right, Cleveland at Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh is three-point favorites in this one. No surprise there, despite the fact Cleveland just. Back-to-back impressive wins against Indianapolis and then obviously on the road before against Dallas. So the number is 51 for this one. Uh, Go ahead, Boggs. Go take it away. Uh, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh in the under in this game for me. I think what you want in this game for both teams is to run the ball and control the clock because you don't want the other team's defense uh, on the field against your offense. Uh, It's uh, miles. It's it's you want it. You got to neutralize TJ Watt and miles Garrett. So, Run away from them, uh, run up the middle, run, wear them out, wear them out so you can start scoring in the fourth quarter. So I think this one is going to be a slug fest going to late in the game. And he's going to play fairly close to that over uh, eventually. But I, I'm going to I'm going to stick with the under on this one. Not not confident really either way, because if, if Miles Garrett, you know, swoops around and takes out Roethlisberger, you know, how miserable all the backups in Pittsburgh are. So uh, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh in the under for me. I'm going to take Pittsburgh to win the game, but I like Cleveland to cover. That's right. It's a, it's almost like you knew it was coming. You felt it, right? You could tell yeah. by the, but yeah, I, I like Cleveland to cover here and I'm going to take the over. I think this one is uh, going to get out of hand. Actually. <laughs> I think this is going to surprise a lot of people. I, I think you would normally go, yeah, this is one of the two teams going to play tight, but no, nope, I think this is going to go a little crazy here. And I'm going to take the over here. I, I like how Garrett's playing and the defense played better. Um, Hunt has been terrific and I think as good as the Pittsburgh defense is, and they're very good, but I think the Cleveland offense has really found something here. And I think, I think they have, I think they have confidence for the first time ever. And that is a very dangerous. I like how trip. Kareem Hunt said this one's for miles. It's like your, your dude is the one swinging the helmet. Come on. What well, are you talking about? I guess it all depends on who you thought said what underneath all that. So I guess very true. Uh, you know, uh, all that thing. All I know is that Mason Rudolph is probably going to be nowhere near this building. <laughs> That's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to call in sick for sure. Uh, of all the games, like if Roethlisberger had got hurt and left, and get back <laughs> to get him in this one, Miles Garrett sitting there. <laughs> that'd be amazing. <laughs> oh, that'd be the best 2020 thing ever. All right, Denver Broncos at New England Patriots. New England nine point favorites in this one. Forty five is the over under. Uh, I like New England to win this football game. I'm not gonna lie, but I don't know. I don't know if New England is gonna be blowing anybody out at this point. Uh, I'll take Denver to cover this one. So I'll take Denver in this one, and I also take um, the under just because I, I don't think it's going to be such a you know a, a scoring fest so to speak. So, but I do think New England will win this football game. They're gonna win it handily. We'll see if Denver has any garbage time to show up at the end, but that's kind of where I'm thinking of this one. This feels like a, you know, like a 2016 kind of a game to me. I hate this game. I, yeah, I really I don't know. like that's it. That's why I'm I'm very careful about it. Um, yeah, I think Doesn't I'm gonna this feel go 2016 with... to you. I mean, come on, this is yeah, this is like yeah. 2010, and then they get like a, a touchdown late, and then you know they miss an extra point or something stupid like that. I mean, if it goes over, it's gonna have to. I think you know, the defense scores at least once and probably sets them up in the red zone twice. Uh, I'm talking about new England picking off Rippon or lock whoever plays. So, um, and if, if Denver goes without, uh, you know, Gordon in this game, then it, it, this has to go under, uh, I, I, I hate this game. I'm staying away from it. Uh, bet, betting my whole cold, hard cash on it, but, uh, I, I'm going to run with you here, new England and Denver and the under. All right, let's go to the next one here. Detroit at Jacksonville. Detroit is three and a half point road favorites. Really? Really? Jacksonville's <laughs> been day. real bad since week one. I, I know, I know, but still, Detroit blows every lead that they've ever had. Uh, 54 and a half is the number, so take us through your uh, feelings on this one because I don't oh, know. you're going to let me go first on this one. Okay, yeah, great. well, yeah, we've been going back and forth. You went first on <laughs> Pittsburgh. I went first on New England. It's your turn. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm going to take Detroit. 
uh, both ends on this one. I'm going to take them against the spread and uh, straight up. Look, Minshew, he can put up stats in garbage time, but he loves to throw in a double coverage. And he, he is just not, he's not reading things correctly right now. So I'm going to take Detroit in this game. Uh, the Jacksonville defense is rough. I mean, they just traded for Kameli Correa. You know, that's how desperate they are. No one could trade for Lev Bell, but Correa is getting traded for. You know what I mean? They they need to put pressure on the quarterback. They've been getting nothing there. So I think Detroit picks them apart. So I'm going to take Detroit and the over. No, I am going to take Detroit to win this football game, but I'll take Jacksonville to cover because I do not trust Detroit. I just don't. I think they will finally squeak one out here, but it's going to be like a missed field goal kind of feeling at the end of the game where Jacksonville has a shot here maybe to even tie it. Um, so I'm going to go there and uh, I'm going to go with the over. Let's go with the over. Not Not in love with either of these two defenses. And I'm not in love with the Houston Texans defense either. They're going to be going on the road against Tennessee. Tennessee, three and a half point favorites in this one. The number is 53. I, uh, give me Tennessee. Give me Tennessee. Give me the over. And that's what I see. Um, um, yeah, I think I'm mo- most comfortable with the over in this game. I, I don't because, uh, c- you know, just anytime you have Watson, you have a chance. He just he keeps them do. in everything so I, i'm gonna take tennessee against the spread and straight up too but uh way more confident in the over than uh the other side of this game all right uh let's go to the next one here washington at the giants Ugh. <sighs> and it's gonna be on tv and in, in, in uh, new york I'm watch this stupid game two and a half <laughs> Uh, point favorites are the New York Giants. How many times are the Giants going to be favored this year? 42 and a half is the number. Uh, this is for you actually to go first again. Yeah, of course. It's your turn. Enjoy. Yeah. Uh, well, you, you, you yeah, I don't know how I got stack. all the, yeah, yeah. You got Miami and the Jets next. So uh, let's oh, see. Well, don't okay. worry. I got that one unlocked, my friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. God, I hate this game so much. All right. I'm going yeah, to take, up, by the way, I'm with you. Run from this game. This is I'm gonna this take Washington straight, all over it. Run away. Yeah. I'm taking Washington straight up and against the spread, obviously, since the Giants are favored. And I'll uh, I'll go with the over because that that line's just too low. 42 and a half in, in 2020. I don't know. Not many games have gone that low. Um uh, yeah, so I'm going to take the no, over. I I'm hate gonna, this I'm one. Stay with you. I'm going to stay with you, Washington, Washington, the over, but it's going to be barely. It's going to be like 44 or something. It's gonna yeah, be yeah. Like, yeah, it's, it's good. Like 24-21 gets it done. You know, that, yeah. that's what you, you hope for. Something like that. I feel like there's going to be a lot more field goals in there, though. That's like uh, <laughs> the aptitude is rampant. Uh, the New York Jets against the Miami Dolphins. Uh, look, the uh, Dolphins are nine and a half point favorites in this one. 47 and a half is the number. Give me Miami. Give me Miami. This is this is a no brainer. Now, can they win by nine and a half? That's the question. Now, that's a lot. That's yeah, a they're lot. playing the Jets though. So yeah, they are playing the Jets. I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, on, I'm gonna, gonna take Miami. Yeah, I'll take it's Miami. Joe Flacco. Come on, I man. know it's Joe Flacco. Forty seven and a half. So I got to come up with a point here. Uh, this is another one I would stay away from. This one. Uh, <laughs> you're you, you're just assuming I'm gonna go the over, aren't you? I, well, you. Uh, you know what? You just see, do you just see Miami put up 43 points on San Francisco? Yeah, but then and, the Jets and... have to score four. Two safe points. pace with this number. <laughs> I got them uh, with two field goals. I, I think they can get that. So I don't know. You know what? I'm going to take the under in this one. I'm oh, going to okay. surprise you here. I, I think my I think last week was fluky and weird, and I don't trust the Dolphins. Give me Miami, Miami, and the under. Uh, in this one. So I just think the Jets are going to just be brutal here. Just brutal. Uh, the next one, Green Bay at Tampa Bay. Green Bay by a point. Wait, so you're taking and Miami and Miami in the over too. I oh, that. yeah. my Yeah. I, did I I'm even have to say? I mean, I, I was know, arguing. I want everybody else to time. hear you say it for, for, for Miami, Miami in the over, everybody. Give me Ryan Fitzpatrick putting up, you know, uh, at least three touchdowns against these clowns. They, they're terrible. So right. I, I, I'm betting on a pick six too. So take Miami's yeah, I mean, defense. 24, yeah. six. There you go. There's your score. There's your three touchdowns, a field goal and give uh, the jets two field goals. there. 24, six. That gets you the under right there, my friend. Oh, well, there's my prediction. Miami, 24, so. six. There's your, there's your okay. name. There you go. All right. Green Bay at Tampa Bay. Green Bay is one point favorites in this one, even though they're on the road, 54 and a half is the number bogs. Take it away. 
I, I'm most confident in the under in this game. I think hmm. this is going to be more of a, a slug fest than we expect. Uh, you know, a cerebral game between Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady. Uh, you know, Brady coming with the rest. Uh, Green Bay coming with the rest, too, coming off the bye week. So um, I'm going to take the under in this game. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to take Green Bay, uh, uh, and it's one point. So I'm going to take them straight up and against the spread. So uh, give me the Packers and give me the under in this game. Give me the Packers and give me the over in this game. I like Green Bay in the over. I actually think this is going to be low scoring the first half. It's like two great boxers. You know, you're going to punch it around each other. It's like 13 all at the half, and then it just goes bananas after that. I just think it's going to go bananas at the end. That's that's how I feel this was going to work out. Uh, we have the Rams and the San Francisco 49ers. The Rams are three-point favorites on the road against the 49ers. Oh, what a world. What a world. 51 and a half is the number. I'll tell you what, give me the Rams to win this football game. Uh, and uh, I do think they're going to cover, actually. I really do. I think San Fran is starting to spiral, and I think it's good. Yeah. It's it's not good. Uh, I will take the under, too, because right now I don't feel good about the San Francisco offense at all. I don't think they can keep pace. I don't. I think whenever those in-division games, they tend to get a little bit tighter, too. So I'm going to take the under. I think that number is a little high, to tell you the truth. Yeah, I'm with you. Uh, this is I'm I'm more confident in the under because San Francisco just doesn't seem to have much on offense. I don't know if they're going to let Jimmy G go again, but he wasn't even able to plant and throw last week. He just looked real bad. So uh, give me the Rams and give me the under in this one. I think they win this one in a walk. All right. Now we've got and that's a Sunday night game, which should be an entertaining game. But Monday, yeah. Monday. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be a very fun day of football here. You got the early Monday, game. fun day. Monday, fun day. You got five o'clock in the afternoon on the East Coast. KC at Buffalo. Then you got Arizona at Dallas. Oh, I love the two Monday night games. And you know what? I like Tuesday night football. I'd much rather have Tuesday night football than Thursday night football. Hot take or not? No, no, I don't think that's a hot take. I I I think it makes more sense, too, because you actually get some rest. uh, Right. uh, You know, uh, going into that game. So I, I, I like that, too. So I'm all about it. Okay, so uh, let's start with Kansas City at Buffalo. Kansas City on the road in Buffalo. Four and a, four point favorites in this one. The number is 57 and a half. That's a big number. Um, and these are two teams that just lost and got upset. Let's be frank. They were favorites in those games and they both lost. So um, I'll say this. I think Kansas City will win this football game. However, um, I think Buffalo is going to cover it. I think this is going to be closer. And I'm going to take the under. This 57 is a high number. That's just a lot. And I'm not saying it can't go there. They absolutely can. I'm going to go under on this one. I just think both of those defenses after the last week, I think they kind of show up a little bit more in this game. Yeah. I don't think I'm touching this game as far as betting goes, Uh, but I, I, I'll go with Kansas city on both ends and I'll, uh, I'll take the over. Uh, I, I just, I, you know what? I'm just going to be a contrarian. I don't, I don't like any part of this game really, but Buffalo, I think that I'm most confident in Kansas city, uh, you know, straight up and against the spread than I am the over under uh, just because Josh Allen did not look right on Tuesday. And I don't know if he's going to get right by Monday, but I'm not going to bet on it. So uh, give me, give me Kansas city and give me the over in this one. All right. Last one, Arizona against the no deck Prescott, Andy Dalton, Dallas Cowboys on Monday night football. Man, one and a half point favorites, the Arizona Cardinals against Dallas on the road. What? I think the wrong <laughs> team is favored here. I really Me do. Me too. Wow. I, okay. I, don't, I don't get this at all. Give me Dallas both. Give me Dallas right there. Straight up. Give me Dallas. Obviously, against the spread. I think they were winning straight up. So give me Dallas. Uh, the number's 55. I do think this is an over, though. I mean, neither of the defenses are any good, but um, I don't I think Dallas will rally and play well in this game. Arizona's got a lot of pieces to figure out still, and Chenar Jones out for the year two doesn't help. So uh, give me the over in this one. What are your thoughts? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the uh, I guess the fear of taking Dallas is that Andy Dalton doesn't move, and they're down to you know third, fourth string offensive linemen already. But you just said Chandler Jones done so uh, for, for the year. So that that's a big, big blow to this Cardinals defense, which is already not good. So uh, give me Dallas and give me the over as well. I'm going to roll right with you into that one. All right. So it's that time. It's time for the upset special. 
Scott Bogman and I are each going to give you our upset picks of the week here for week six in the NFL. We want to remind you to go over and follow us over on Twitter at Line Star app at Line Star NFL and go subscribe to the Line Star app and upgrade to that premium product today. That way you can get winning. It's the best DFS tool site in the history of the universe. So I'm going to go here and look, this is an easy one. It's the one we just finished talking about on the program and I'm going to go with Dallas. I mean, it's a small upset, but still Dallas at home. I still think should be favored. I know the defense has been terrible, but against the Cardinals, uh, you know, it's I, there's going to be points in this game. I still like the over, but give me Dallas to win that game. That's my upset of the week. How about you, Boggs? The Bears, give me Chicago. Uh, on, I know they're on the road and Carolina has been playing better, but I'll take uh, I'll take that defense over the Carolina offense any day. So give me the Bears. All right, there you have it. Make sure you uh, subscribe to the podcast. Wherever you get your podcast, you can get the pre-snap by Line Star DFS. And uh, we're on all the platforms, iHeart, iTunes, Stitcher, Google, you name it, we are there for you. So uh, in case you missed yesterday, you can go out there and get the DFS preview just dropped. Uh, today's the wagering preview. And uh, obviously we'll be back again on Tuesday to recap the weekend that was in the NFL. And it's been a wild, wacky 2020 NFL season, but we didn't expect anything less, that's for sure. In the meantime, you can follow us on Twitter as well, at Bogman Sports at Joe Pisa Pia 17. And if you enjoy the program, please give us a five-star review. Wherever you listen to the podcast, boom, you stop. You give us a nice review, especially on iTunes. We really appreciate it. So thank you in advance for your kindness. We appreciate you here at Line Star. All right, that'll do it for us. But the story of the game goes on. There's nothing left to do now except down, set, win. You've been listening to the Pre-Snap Podcast Weekly Wagering Show brought to you by Line Star. Hit subscribe, drop a rating, tell a friend, and stay tuned for the next episode from Joe Pizapia and Scott Bogman.